Yo, what's up? It's Jordan Martin with Martin Stock Club, Martin Investment Group. Let's go ahead and look at three stocks for tomorrow, which is going to be March 8th, Wednesday. So, um, Triple M, easy setup here, right? We know the state of the market right now. The market had a big, big red day um, yesterday. So, uh, we see a weekly support level here, very clear. All right, take it back to the daily. All right, so we see very clear support. I'm uh, looking for just a bounce on, on Triple M. This is one of those trade setups that, um, you know, the trade can go negative. I mean, the trade can go red. It could, it could be a losing trade, but ultimately, right, if we're assuming that the um, stock stays at this current position, right, if we just immediately buy calls that open and set a stop below that recent low, right, even if we just target it to take back out the uh, high the previous day, you know, we're setting ourselves up a six six to one risk to reward. Um, we stand to make, you know, a three dollar move back up on our contracts or on position with a stop loss of about fifty cent. All right, so that's one I wouldn't mind just taking kind of off the rip at open if it's still at the same level off this major major support. PG, um, got a bull flag here. It looks a little ugly on the daily to me. So you take it to the four hour. You can see it a lot clearer. I'm sorry, not a bull flag, a bear flag. Uh, looking to see how it holds, right? So, of course, given that I'm looking at a four-day chart, and I'll take you through three-day, you see it, um, and it's inside on a three-day. And we have a two-day. I think what I'm going to do is actually look at it two different ways. So, one on a two-day, sorry, on a three-day, uh, if it breaks the inside of the three-day, so if it takes out the low of 137.34, then I want to see it come down and test this three-day candle low, which is 136.51. Um, and that's good enough to me for a day trade. And then it'll be breaking out of that. I want to go ahead and see if I could take it down. So there's a contract, probably get like three months out. Uh, if we're looking at a four-day bear flag breaking, right? This move down, if we're just going to see how long it was, um, this move down was 30 days. Uh, but it moved down 12%, right? And so if we get another move down just like that, right? That'll bring us down here for a double bottom and support. Um, and we can probably get that in another, you know, 30 days possibly, right? Uh, but that's why I said maybe three months out on the contract gives them time to work. So that's what I'm looking at for um, PG with the possibility for just a bounce off the trend line. All right, we could see another bounce up. Uh, for it to keep flagging, but this might be the opportunity we need with the bearish market events as well for it to go ahead and start making this move down. And then last but not least, we had, let me see, we did Spotify. Yeah, but Spotify. All right, Spotify, double top up here. Let's take it to a one hour. Now you kind of see it on a one hour. All right, so it goes ahead and breaks down from here. Um, then we can look at bringing it back down, closing this gap at 118, uh, and then finally resting at 115 for a swing back down off that um, bounce. Keep in mind that that will be fighting trend. So the real trade we want to look for is for it to break this flag that it's been making. And that's really what we want to see and trigger us to move up. All right, so if we can take out um, we take out one twenty eight eighty two. Get a five minute candle close above that. Um, I'll be pretty good to go on calls for Spotify. Otherwise, we break down below here, uh, which is one twenty four sixty two. And I'll be looking at going ahead and hopping in puts. Um, but don't really want to force the puts because we are in the overall uptrend. Right? Want to more so move in the direction of the trend. So that's what we're looking at. Spotify, uh, PG, and Triple M. Triple bottom bounce. Potential bear flag break or bounce. If we're looking at a smaller time frame, as you can see, that we could trade through these bounces. And then Spotify. Um, either or, but really want to go for the calls on Spotify as well. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all make some money.
Hop in the Discord, man. Links in the description. Hop in that Discord. See you.